hard with Tybo. Back straight quarter, 27 and 3. Tuesday afternoon here at the creek. It's been a, a busy day here at the creek as well. And straight off the top, Chris, some big news. Yeah, big news. Uh, as you're fully aware, the Inner Dominion has found a home here at Albion Park for the next three years. So this starts next year, 2025. 2026 before culminating with the final series in 2027 but it's going to be in July only two rounds of heat so a little bit different but it's now got a home here in the Sunshine State for the next three years. Speaking of Inter Dominions, a potential candidate for this year's Inter Dominion, maybe not, maybe yes, Gus? Well, I can tell you this, he's definitely not going to New Zealand. He was nominated for the Dominion. Uh, he made that break, uh, break recently at the races, so they've pulled the pin, so he won't be going across to New Zealand. And given that the Inter Dominion is going to be here next July, it probably makes sense just to keep him here in Queensland, chip away with a few features, then target that big race in July. And by then he'll be a six-year-old, only lightly yeah. raced as well. His stable mate, RDB Mickey, she was lining up this week. Yep, uh, and that's the plan. So they're going to tackle those mares features. So not a great deal on offer. So she's come back in good order from the Victoria Oaks. She was unplaced there behind Coastal Babe. So they're going to look at some of these uh, mares features over the next couple of weeks during the summer carnival. That'll be a good test, a three-year-old filly up against those open mares. So we'll see how she fits in. And another of the Turpin McMullen uh, stable that's a, a talented filly in her own right, the two-year-old Arrive. Yeah, well, this is a uh, an interesting one, but it's no surprise, given that her mum, Washington Lass, has recently passed, they've decided to do an embryo transfer with Arrive. So she's a daughter of Captain Treacherous. She's the only daughter at this stage of Washington Lass. So they've done the right thing, I think, by uh, sending her to start. She's going to do that embryo transfer, so she'll come back next year, and hopefully she'll be able to continue on her, her good form from what she showed this year. Kept running into cool and class but she's very talented, but they're going to take that embryo. And one of the quickest fillies um, in Queensland this term. Trial session this afternoon, we saw a number of smart performers. Tim's a trooper, he stepped out. We haven't seen him for a, a while. That was a pretty strong trial that he was in. Yeah, come from last in the field of four. He was able to round them up. So that was a good sign for the Dixon stable. Captain Shuffles was in that trial. He ran second behind Tim's a trooper. Good to see him back at the races as well. Whether they line up in any of the upcoming summer carnival features remains to be seen, but pleasing signs there. And Monterey Lass, the very good rookie two-year-old trotting filly, she trialled today as well, trialled quite well. And her half-brother, Agent Black, he was again super. Yeah, very impressive. Um, last week, a couple of our local uh, trainers, drivers here, Matt and Nerissa, Matt Elkins, Nerissa McMullen, they tied the knot. Yeah, they did. Uh, all went well. So they've got a runner on Saturday night in the peak of the creek with our Benson. Nerissa will take the drive on this former Kiwi. I'm expecting they're going to take a honeymoon pretty soon. So if he wins on Saturday night, you know that the honeymoon is going to be very, very uh, uh, swift after this big race on Saturday night. So he's hoping they'll, they'll get the prize and then they can jet off for a honeymoon. Where they go, who knows? Maybe they might go Hawaii or somewhere like that where it's nice and warm. But uh, expect the honeymoon to be forthcoming. So we've seen some movements lately around the stables, different horses retiring, moving on. Lady Digby, we've got some news there. Yeah, definitely no chance of starting in these mares features during the summer carnival. They've decided to give her a really good break. She won the Group 2 triad back in August, so they've given her a good break. She's going to come back next year. She's only a small mare, so hopefully with this good break she'll grow, fill into that frame a little bit more, and she'll have a really strong five-year-old campaign. Bronski Zulu, some news on him. He did move from Charlie Sini to Donnie Smith. Yeah, and that culminated with the Group 1 victory in the triad back in August as well. So he's about to complete pre-training this week. So he's about to rejoin Donnie and Maureen Smith as well at their Reckliff stables on Knight Street. So expect him to have a good build-up. He's had a little bit of foundation work, but probably maybe towards the end of the year we might see him again, Bronski Zulu. And a, another three-year-old, my Alderman Buddha, he went to New South Wales. Didn't quite work out. He's probably not just up to that level. Yeah, we're not going to see him for the rest of this year. They've decided to give him a good break as well. So he's probably likely to have three months off, according to his trainer, Doug Hewitt. So it'll be next year before he returns. So hopefully when he comes back, he'll be bigger, stronger, and a little bit more mature. Uh, a bit of trainer, trainer action and news. We've got, um, I notice in the fields this week at the creek, Tom Ison from Tamworth. He seems to have a few runners here. Yeah, he's bringing up a good team as well, uh, quite large in numbers, and I think they're going to be here for a number of weeks as well, anywhere between three to four weeks, depending on success. But you're right, it starts this weekend for Tom Ison, so hopefully he can make a good fist of it here in the Sunshine State. Do you know? I didn't see his name listed as a driver. No, I'm not sure. I'll have to follow that one up. Mm-hmm. 
and Jason Grimson. He had uh, he's potentially heading over to the New Zealand Cup. No, uh, they've been scratched from the New Zealand Cup, so no major moth or Nerano. Don't be surprised if he's got uh, horses starting here Saturday week on the second night of our summer carnival. There might be one, two, maybe even three horses come up for that night of racing, so Jason Grimson might be headed back to Queensland. Well, there we go. There's a, a bit of news there. And we've just held the barrier draw for the peak of the creek farm. We had four heats today to so choose your own barrier. Probably no real surprises in any of those selections. No, none, none whatsoever. I think attachment, given the barrier draw set up at this early stage, he might be the horse to beat, given that he's got gate two, led from seven, better than Potsy took one. He was the quickest of the four heat winners, so maybe attachment might be able to get to the front first. Maybe it's our Benson threw off the mm. back of attachment and yeah. get that honeymoon cash. Yeah, too right, too right. Well, that's the scoop for another Tuesday. Trying hard was Typo, back straight quarter, 27 and three.